Hello, and in this video, we're just going to really quickly talk about what is Storyteller. Now, Storyteller is a very handy tool which allows you to create linear and nonlinear stories. You can create dialogue or fully voiced stories um, just using simple voice recordings. You can also create storyboards. You can plan and detail your characters, meaning you can define your character's personality. So in Storyteller, we have over 90 different personality traits per character, per evolution state. And for the evolution state, you can actually define um, changes that your, ca your character can undergo. So for example, um, if you define your character to look one particular way and later on in the story, your character changes, um, then you can define that change. You can define different voice samples for, the, for each character evolution state to further define the character's personality. And you can also sample your character interactions directly in the storyteller editor. And there's several more functions and several more tools, which I'll probably go through in this video. All right, so what you're looking at here, um, it's just Unity, nothing strange here. So if we go up to the tools menu here, we've already imported Storyteller. So I'm just going to go to the tools and go to Dynamago and just open up Storyteller. I see it loads up this, um, this the editor for us with all the editor windows. There are about 19 different editors that come with Storyteller. Um, the total file size for the necessary files you need to actually run Storyteller, um, it's under four megabytes. Um, that's including the example scene, so it's uh, less than that. So I'm just gonna drag my link manager window over here and my hierarchy over here. Um, but inside Storyteller, you do also get this example scene, which takes the file size up to uh, 160 something megabytes, but you can delete um, these example assets to just have that four megabyte file size if you keep your uh, example stories also. So right here in the editor, we have four different example stories here. We have the detective bot, NPC quest, and this uh, example visual novel project. And we can actually bring each of these stories to life in game by using a free extension to Storyteller called the GameBridge. So if you go, just, I'm just gonna relaunch again here to get this window. So using this GameBridge here, once you open the window, you get this um, start window. You can just click GameBridge, it'll take you to the Asset Store where you can download this tool, a free extension which allows you to take your stories and bring them to life in game. So currently, um, if, actually I'll just go ahead and show you that. So if, let's load up one of these products here. Let's load the detective bot. And here we go. Let's make this less confusing. Let's turn that off. All right. So what you're looking at right now is the canvas where we have nodes, simple nodes. And inside these nodes, you'll see text and they're all chained together. And this, oh, this outlines a, a flow of, basically a chain of events is what they're actually called. So they're chained together and these are the different events and you can outline the order in which these events occur by using the timeline to do so. So it's just a regular timeline, you know how timelines work. Um, the thing you put in front is the first thing that's going to be processed and the next thing that's going to be processed is what's in front of that. And that's how you order your character's interaction. So we can move these um, around to change our entire character interaction. So this is worlds away from working on a um, static document, something linear like a like an MS Word, where you can't actually move the different pieces around to change the incomplete flow of your story. But you can do that here by just moving these pieces around. All right. So here we have four different characters in our scene. We have our main character here. We have NPC two, three, and NPC one. If we quickly just take a look around here, we'll see on the right side, we have a window called the properties window. And by selecting any node, we see the, the properties for it in that window. And in this window, we can also detach nodes. So if we select a node here, we can see all the things connected to it and all the things that it connected to. And we can just click the links here to detach them. So it makes it really simple. Now I've gone through the whole process of the node creation in other videos, so you can actually check those out to see the details and how things are, are done here. Now down here, we have a link manager and this link manager allows you to link different nodes across different scenes or in a single scene. Now in the timeline, there are two things the timeline is responsible for. So 
we can um, we can change our characters interactions here and we can sample our characters interactions so for example if we open up this button here to open up our story our characters sample editor and we select for example npc1 and our main character and we refresh this list it will give us a nice outline of our characters interactions here and if we went ahead and we hit this play button we start sampling those interactions in order but well, we're just going to stop that i'm just going to close this now there's several other things here so if i'm if i right click let's say we're working on storyboards so if i right click here and i choose canvas screenshot what it's going to do is generate a high definition screenshot of the entire project now if you have a very large story um, outline here then you get a very large image um, and this is quite useful for if you're working with the, if you're doing storyboarding so for example if i go to my scenes here new scene click this we create a new node here and this is in text mode if you go into voiceover mode we click this button here when i'm in voiceover mode we can select double click the microphone to record a voiceover let's go back into text mode and let's open up storage the storyboard mode here we can increase the storyboard area and we can work in storyboard mode if we're in uh, voiceover mode or text mode we just double click the area select an image from the computer or wherever else the image is and we can use that image and we can chain along we can switch on storyboard mode to have um, default storyboard images for nodes that we create so we don't actually have to manually go in and open them up all right let's delete this scene here and one of another thing we can also do we can export the story uh, storyboard voice clips sound effects and all so if you right click we go into our, into our window we can go to the exporter and we can export as an html and once we export we can get a list of all of our characters a list of our environments um, we can get our scenes and an overview of the story and when the scene is exported we can select whether or not we want it to be exported with these characteristics which is timing type character sound effect voiceover environment export tag storyboard image and we can set the scenes that we want to export um, we post a lot of this information on the forum so you can find it there now if we right click going to windows here and jump into the game bridge which is the uh, tool that you probably more be more interested in at the moment here because you probably want to find out how we're going to actually use this inside of your game it's actually quite simple so once you've written your story once you've created a story whether your, your story uses voice clips a mixture of voice clips and text then all you need to do is create a, a piece of scene data so let's say you just right click going to create gamebridge scene data there we have our scene data let's this is our only scene here this is our main scene so let's click scene here let's click scene this is inside of a game bridge so once we have a scene data selected we get this window we just click the scene we want to use we want data from this scene so we select the scene then we click push done so all of our storyteller data there is now inside of this little asset here and we can use this asset directly inside of our game and simply bring the story to life in game so if you jump into the game now we I do have a tutorial a full tutorial set on um, setting this up and playing through the entire game so you can check that out but that's just how simple it is to set that up i'll just go ahead and delete this Now there's several other, um, so I mentioned before there are about 19 different editors and I've only shown you one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, seven, only seven of them. So there's several more things that Storyteller can do, um, but this should be enough to give you a very clear outline of, um, a clear idea of what Storyteller is. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next videos.